Elephant is part of one of the largest auto insurance companies in the world with operations in seven countries. But we only have one hometown, Richmond. Thank you, Richmond. We're proud to be one of your fastest growing employers. More care, less cost. That's the Elephant difference. Everybody talks about how hard recruiting is. The only, only time coaches lie more than recruiting is in scheduling. So it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's a bear to, 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 to schedule. So working on that, and obviously we've been working out our current players, spending time with our current players. I try to eat lunch and dinner every day with a different player, uh, myself. Um, and so we've, we've been doing, we've been spending just a lot of time with those guys and then, and then obviously filling our needs on the roster for, for next year and, and, and beyond. So it's been uh, hectic, but that's, that's how you like it. It's no fun if you're not doing anything. It sounds like the, the developing a relationship with the guys who maybe weren't here when you were here is very important to you. So can you just kind of elaborate on how big that player coach relationship yeah, is for you in, in it's, your program? It's huge. You know, you want guys who are bought into you as the head coach. You want guys who are bought into what you're doing, and it's a it's a big deal. You know, there's some kids you can just make more progress with than others. Like Michael Gilmore and I have become very close in a short period of time. I love that kid. He's going to have an unbelievable career here. He's going to make a huge uh, jump as a player. He's going to make as big a jump as anybody in our program as a player. He's, he's, he's got unreal talent. Um, you know, so some guys are a little more open. I've made progress with Justin Tillman, obviously, with, with, with some other guys. And some guys are a little bit, a little bit harder, uh, you know, to make progress with. And it's not only now with the kids, it's the parents, it's the people around them, handler, you know, all, all sorts of other folks. So you've got a lot of uh, competing interests uh, that, that, that you need to uh, keep, uh, you know, keep in the loop on things. But it's been fun. I enjoy building relationships. Like I said, you know, Six or seven of the, the nine guys, I've, I was here when we recruited them or spent some time with them. Then the two or three that I haven't, um, you know, I've, I've, I've put an emphasis on spending time with those guys. And, and uh, for the most part, it's, it's been pretty successful. But, you know, relationships take time. You know, it, it just takes time, and you, and you don't necessarily have a lot of time. Um, but it takes time, and, and sometimes, you know, people aren't as patient with the time. And that's, you know, that's understandable. Yep, I've got our our staff is complete. So I brought Wes Long with me from Chattanooga. He was he was he was with me for the two years at Chattanooga. Previous to that, he was a head Division two coach for five years. Had a tremendous amount of success at an academic school. He he, he did took a, a really tough job and took him to the NCAA tournament twice in five years, and won the conference a couple times. So. Um, just happy to have him. You know, he interviewed for the Chattanooga head coaching job, but I saved him a spot here. I said, if you don't get it, you know, uh, I, I've got you a spot here. So saved him a spot. And uh, Rasheen Davis was at Manhattan, uh, knows the New York, uh, New Jersey area uh, very, very well. And um, he was, he's a good hire. He's, he's, been, he's been all over the place helping us with recruiting. Jameel Jones is another assistant I hired. He's at Florida Gulf Coast um, from the D.C. area, coached one of the premier uh, programs in DC has very good ties in, in Washington DC and Philadelphia and then uh, I brought Casey Long who was an assistant with me at Chattanooga he's come as our ops guy and then Alex Wharton was my ops guy at Chattanooga and he's now going to be my video guy here so we, we kind of brought brought my crew from Chattanooga not necessarily in the same roles but I wanted to take care of everybody make sure everybody was taken care of and um, you know they're in a little bit different roles but they're making better money, so they're they're happy. <laughs> they're they're pleased. How big was bringing Davis here? I know you know that New York area. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's it, you know, Rasheen's well respected. He's worked. I mean, look where he's worked. He's worked at Louisville. He worked at Pitt when they were number one in the country and went to the Elite Eight. He's worked at Xavier. He's worked at Manhattan, who went to the last two NCAA tournaments. Like he, I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's well respected. He's going to be a head coach uh, within the next four or five years. Uh, probably sooner than that. I mean, he, he's just – he's really, really good. He's, he's adept in pressing systems. He's been in pressing systems at, at Louisville and, and at Manhattan. Um, so he'll help with that. I mean, he's just an all-around uh, good coach. I knew the day I got the job – I mean, before I got the job, I knew if I came that, – that was the one guy I wanted. And then I knew I, I, knew I wanted Jamil. I mean, I, I had a good idea what I wanted to do. I just had to wait for the pieces to fall in place with Wes. And I didn't want to leave him in a lurch. 
Well, I think, you know, our recruiting area here is basically North Carolina to New York. I think that's the bread and butter. Now, we'll go outside of that. You know, I'm from Tennessee. We got Jaquan from Tennessee. You know, we can go pluck some guys, the deep south. Uh, we had four kids from Louisiana at Chattanooga. So we've got some relationships down in Louisiana, uh, which those kids are great athletes and fit what we do. But for the most part, you know, we got to be good from, from, from North Carolina to New York. And I've recruited North Carolina for a long time. Wes was a head coach in North Carolina for a long time. We got that pretty well covered. Virginia, we, we know the area well. D.C. to Philly, Jamil kind of fills that part of the map. And, and Philly to New York, New Jersey, and kind of the prep schools in the Northeast, Rasheen fills that part. So it was important to me to, to have our, our Mid-Atlantic and the Eastern Seaboard covered. And, and, and we did that with the staff. With those relationships with the guys, have the meals with them, did you learn anything surprising or new about some of the guys that you know before or kind of caught you off guard? Um, not really. Uh, I, I knew a lot about about uh, most of the guys. A lot of times we, you know, it's 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 deeper conversations, to, you know, stuff that you don't. I don't want to share on a public setting. Um, but uh, no, I mean, pretty pretty much standard standard uh, status quo, standard standard stuff. But uh, we've got a bunch of uh, just unique guys that are their own personalities, which is which is fun. Uh, it's fun to coach those guys and fun to be around those guys. So. Uh, I'm, ex I'm excited about the guys we've got and uh, how, how excited they are about being here and, and moving forward. Coach, uh, I apologize if you've asked some of these questions. Her name is Nova. A uh, little late, but um, first thing I have You're the only one with louder pants than me in here today, so I, I, appreciate, <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate you wearing those. Hey, and trying to, the spring time's going. Um, I know you just talked about your assistant coaches, but um, two guys that – went out there, letters of intent. How did that process go about, and what did you talk to them about when they were going through that, Kenny Williams and Or, yeah, the previous recruits out there. All three of them now, all not just two. There. I mean, might as well get all three Sorry. of them in there. Uh, I mean, you know, you know, like, you know, they're, you know people around them. Like, I've known, uh, I've known Tevin Mack's high school coach for 15 years. Um, you know, I mean, it's very cordial. Eh? I mean, I, I, I told before you got in, I mean, I knew beforehand what the deal was, um, you know. Uh, I knew beforehand, so I mean, it, w it wasn't there wasn't a lot of conversing about what was going to happen or what was going on, or you know. And when you know when they get released and they're you know they're freshmen, you know they're not coming back. I mean, one out of every hundred comes back. So I mean, you pretty much you know they'll be nice, and it's a nice thing to do. It's like you, you guys are all nice people. When you tell somebody no, or you you know you you know you're, you're cordial about hey we'll keep that option open. Well, in reality, that's not how it works. I mean, you know, it, it's it's not how it works. If if you if your wife says she's going to leave you, you know, <laughs> but she's gonna but she's gonna keep the door open, you know, to maybe come back after she goes and dates for a couple months. She's gonna keep. I mean, she you know she's gonna find something better. She's not gonna come back. You know, I mean, so I mean, you know, there's there's not a lot of uh, uh, you know there's. You, you just know. You just know. In our world, you, you, you know, and you plan accordingly, and, and we've planned accordingly with that. And uh, the two guys you're bringing in with you from Chattanooga, they were, you were planning to have them there, and they just wanted to follow you here to uh, VCU. For the, I'm getting this from my sports director. Let me ask you this what, what two guys? Uh, two recruits, two guys you already recruited. Well, neither one of them. No, they weren't at Chattanooga. Oh. Um, uh, Sism, I recruited at Chattanooga, but he was too good for Chattanooga. Um, and so I had a good relationship with him. He's one of those guys I developed a really good relationship with. And he, even though we weren't recruiting him anymore, I, I, uh, uh, he would call me for advice throughout the year, and I just kind of would talk to him. And when I got the job here, he suddenly had a new interest. Uh, so that was good, and, and he's going to be a good player. And Corey Bilberry, I didn't even know who the kid was till two and a half weeks ago. Um, so... I mean, I, I, I had no idea who he was, and um, pretty quick courtship, and, and um, you know, you do your research, and uh, I'm one of those guys, you know, everybody likes to hide behind phones now and text and talk. I like to sit down and look you in the eye, and, I, you know, you can tell a lot when you do that, and I went, uh, my first or second week in here, I went to Tulsa and met with him and his family and sat down, and we sat down at a restaurant in Tulsa and sat down and ate, and looked them all in the eye and I left there with my assistant. I said, we gotta get this kid. Like you could just tell like he's got that it factor to him. He's he's motivated. He you know, he you know, I've said this a lot, I want guys who want to be here. He we're no different to him than what whoever you think the best program in the country is. All right? 
he, he thinks we're Kentucky. I mean that that that's how he that's how he feels about us. I like that. I think we're Kentucky. So I mean I I, I like that. You know I like I like that he feels that way about us. And you can't ever underestimate that. You can't ever underestimate guys who will lay it on the line for you and really 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 want to be here. And that's that's important. Well, is there a big difference that you've noticed? One main difference maybe between Chattanooga and VCU in your first few weeks. Here? Um, I mean, basketball is basketball. Stuff on the court's the same. You know, there's a few more time demands uh, off the court. Uh, you know, at Chattanooga was a little bit of a unique situation in that we did have we had a major media presence. For example, we, we'd have press conferences. We had three TV stations. We had two beat writers. We had a lot of stuff. I mean, we, we did have we did have that. But just in terms of the boosters, there's three or four main ones. And if you had those guys, you you know, the rest of it was. <laughs> secondary you know you could go to those three or four guys and, but you know and here there's 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 more corporate stuff and and um you know chattanooga's uh a great city great sports town but it's sec football and then chattanooga basketball here it's you know vcu basketball this is the main uh attraction and, and this is the main deal so there's more demands on your time with that but hey that's you know if you don't like that go go coach intramurals or something so that's the way it goes. Going back to uh, Bill Berry, have you um, given much thought as to how much um, you plan on using him in your um, system with a, within his one year of eligibility here? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we plan to use him. I told him when I recruited him, I said, your numbers may not be as good as they, as they were at Oral Roberts. Understand, your, your, your production may go down, but you'll still be a better player, be a more efficient player. There's some other things you can do. So we didn't promise him the world or the keys or anything like that. But it's like I was talking about, you, you know, the reality is um, we basically have one proven scorer on our team, Melvin Johnson. You know, that's all we got. Now, we can sugarcoat everything and, you know, hope everybody's going to make all these jumps and that. And obviously, you think Mo can make a jump. You think Jaquan's going to poise to make a big jump. Um, I personally think Doug Brooks is going to make a big jump, Bert, some of those guys. But you just don't know what you're – what you're getting, you know, at Chattanooga, I had four kids who averaged between 10 and 14 points a game. You know, here I, I couldn't, outside of Melvin, I really couldn't, t you know. So the, one of my main points was to get a proven score. And he's proven he can score at the Division One level. Now, is it a different league than ours? You betcha. But if you look at what he's done against some of the BCS teams, you look at what he's done, like he's done a pretty good job. And there's some areas that he can improve with his efficiency his free throw rates and, and, and his conversion rates and some things like that. And, and we, I've talked to him about that. He knows those areas. He's a blue collar, hard, 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 hard working guy. He works out every morning at 530 in the morning, six in the morning, works out at night. Like, I love that about him. And I just, I'm betting on him. I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to help us. And uh, we, needed a, we needed a proven score. In fact, I wouldn't mind getting another one like him who's a proven score at another position on a fifth year uh, fifth-year transfer, so we've, we've certainly got those avenues open as well. I, I believe in the guys we got. I, you heard me talk about Gilmore. I think he's going to make a big jump. I think Tillman's going to make a big jump. I think Mo will be good. You know, I, I think those guys will be good. I think uh, Doug's going Doug's to score. I think Jaquan will – you know, I think those guys will do it. But until you flip the lights on, I mean, you just don't know. You want a couple guys who, when the lights have come on, they've, they've produced a little bit. And and that, that that's what he adds. That's what he adds to us, and, and we intend to use him. Well, how difficult is it for a guy to show up with one year and kind of get with the program on the press and all that stuff? You know, it, it'll be a it'll be a change, but but we've uh, uh, we've addressed that with him and, and and told him you know some ways we can make the change easier. He'll be here for summer school, which will help. Um, you know, he'll be able to get assimilated in the culture and, and, and with what we do. So, um, I mean, if you can play, you can play. Elephant is part of one of the largest auto insurance companies in the world with operations in seven countries. But we only have one hometown, Richmond. Thank you, Richmond. We're proud to be one of your fastest growing employers. More care, less cost. That's the elephant difference.